Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect one of these, which is an Arduino, up to uh, UE4. Um, there's a whole bunch of information on the Arduino itself and how you can connect to different hardware on the website, um, but very little about how to connect it to Unreal Engine. So um, I'll do a little series of, of videos now that show you how to uh, go through that process. So the first thing that we're going to do is just make sure we've downloaded the uh, software. So on the Arduino page you can go to the software page and um, I tend to pick this one here, this Windows zip file for non-admin installs. Um, basically it means there's a little standalone uh, folder with the Arduino software in there and um, yeah, you don't need to do any extra installation other than just downloading and unzipping the file. Um, one of the first things to test is to make sure the board itself is working um, and there's a little built-in um, set of examples, they're called sketches. Um, and one of the, the basic sketches uh, that you got there is one called Blink. Um, so you load up Blink and plug the Arduino in. And you'll see the device there. Uh, if you just hit upload, um, you'll see a few little flickers as the software gets uploaded to the device. And then you should see the little built-in LED just flashing away there. Um, just showing that it's working basically. Um, it works basically by switching the output pin here, this uh, built-in LED pin, which is pin number 13 on the actual board, switches it high, um, basically means turning it on or putting power into that pin, waits for one second, which is 1000 milliseconds, and then sets it low again, switches it off, waits another one second and repeats that process. Um, so we're gonna do a similar thing, but controlling this via Unreal. So we're gonna start off by making a new sketch. And the sketches themselves have got um, a section called Setup, which is a bit like Unreal's Begin Play, and a section called Loop, which is basically like the event tick, so that's running um, all the time in the background. Um, first thing you wanna do is set up the LED so that it switches itself off and um, configures that pin to uh, be an output as well. So the pin's an output and it switches it off. Um, and then we also need to set up what's called the serial port, which basically means the USB cable that's attached to the Arduino. Um, we're gonna set that, so it's set up to communicate at 9,600 board, um, which is a fairly slow uh, connection speed, um, but it does what we need to. Um, in this case, a lot of the serial port examples will use this as the default speed. Um, you can set it to higher if, if you need to, but for this case, we'll leave it as that. Um, so basically it's listening out on the serial port and then in our loop, we're gonna check to see if there's any incoming data. So we use a function here that's called while, um, so it's a loop that while serial data is available, it's gonna read that data and, um, and then do something. So the line that we need to use to read data is this one, which is serial.read, and that stores it in a variable then called in char, basically means in character. It's a variable name that we'll define. Um, in un, uh, really got to kind of create your variables in the blueprints before you can use them, and in a similar way in the Arduino software, oops, you've got to, um, you've got to uh, configure the variable uh, so that it uh, can be used initially. So we'll just paste that at the top. Um, okay, so the character variable is set. Its variable name is in char. Um, we're gonna read our data one letter at a time into this. And then um, if there's something there, then we're gonna do stuff. And we're actually gonna make a function called do stuff. Okay. Um, And if you're actually kind of coding like this, you create your function by giving it a function name, and this is the return value. Now, do stuff isn't gonna return any data back to the main loop function here. It's just gonna um, send some information up to the serial port and turn the light on. So first of all, we wanna to check to see if it's the number one that's been sent or the character number number one that's been sent. 
um, and if it is we're going to print a message back saying hello and we're also going to turn on the built-in LED pin uh, alongside that we want a way to uh, turn it off again so we can use an elf, is, elf, uh, elf statement so else if if the character is equal to zero then we're going to say goodbye and we're going to switch that light off as well so that's the basic uh, software set up and ready um, we're just going to hit the verify button it's going to ask us if we want to save it somewhere um, i will save it uh, to this pc call it ue4 connect and we're going to upload it to the device so you see the lights flashing away and now it's all set ready to go we can test this by opening up tools and serial monitor and just sending it a number one that should turn the light on and we'll send it a zero and it turns the light off again so this could be connected to some kind of motor or a brighter kind of more powerful light um, could be a fan could be a some sort of solenoid or something that makes something uh, move um, physically um, attached to your game and obviously in unreal this could be a key press it could be the character walks into a certain area on screen and switches a, a, a device on in the real world um, in vr it could for example switch a fan on and start blowing kind of air into your face to simulate say opening a window or going down some sort of scary ride um, so that's that's the basics um, if you send it anything else, it'll just basically um, ignore that information until um, it gets something it understands. Um, okay, so I'll leave that there for now, uh, and we'll have a look at how to connect to Unreal in the next clip.